Hello and welcome to this tutorial which is basically going to be the basics uh, of After Effects. I think probably the first thing we're going to do is run through the interface of After Effects just to give you a, a basic idea I think initially of what each of these areas do uh, within this program. Um, so I think we'll probably start off over here, over this side here, if I select that again. It goes light blue uh, just to select, you select that area. Uh, same with this area here, again light blue, and down here, and each of these will do as well. Uh, but anyway, let's concentrate over here. This is our project area, and let's just delete this. What this is, is our library of assets that After Effects will reference on your system, whether it's a server or your hard drive. So I'll show you what that means. So if I show you a couple of ways of importing your footage into this project area. First thing you can do is, which is what I generally do, is to double click in here. That will bring up my uh, file explorer um, and show me all the sort of relevant uh, types of things that I can import in here. So if I select, for example, this tie.mov here and import that in, that will bring the TIE Fighter movie into my project window um, uh, and from there that's stored in my After Effects project um, for good um, and I can use it however I want so that's in my library in my project uh, again I can also go to file and import file and import the Star Wars logo silver PNG import so those are the two main ways you can import footage you can double click on here or you can file, import. Uh, we'll go through these a little bit later on. That's the main, main way anyway. So now I have these two things in here. Um, it's nice to keep this kind of arrangement tidy. So down here, you'll see this is basically a interpret footage thing. We'll go through that in a second. This is what we need, and this is create a new folder. So if I click that, that creates a new folder, and I'll call this images. And I'll create another folder. Just un unclick out of there. If I if I click in this and then do another folder, it will create a folder inside there. That's not what we want just yet. So I'm just going to delete that and make another folder outside there and call it videos. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag time mob because it's a video into videos and Star Wars logo uh, into images because it's an image. And that way, I, anything I bring in that's an image, I'll put into images and anything that's a video, I'll put in there. And that just keeps the whole thing nice and tidy. You can also search for what you need in here. So for example, if I close all that up and I type Thai, it will come up here with Thai, and that's basically what I was looking for. Very useful if you've got a large, large project with all sorts of images and videos and text layers and God knows what going on. So that's the basic principle of the project window. It's a library of assets for use in your animations or compositions or whatever you're doing. So anyway, down here, this is your interpret footage and it's very basic form. So yeah, that's, that's that. So what else can we get in here? Well, now we're going to come into this area here, which is our composition window. This is the, this is the area where all the magic happens. This is our, this is where we see the awesomeness in here. So, how do I get something in here? Well, again, there's a couple of ways of doing it. First thing you can do is to go to Composition, New Composition, Shortcut, Control N, or Command N if you're on a Mac, and you'll pop up this window here, Composition Settings window. You're gonna see this one a lot. So, first thing you'll see is Composition Name. Name it anything you want. Usually it'll be relevant to what you're thinking. So, I'm gonna call this Star Wars. That'll do, Star Wars. And I'm going to create, uh, this is my, um, the width pixels and height in pixels. So 960 by 4, 540 is half HD if you like. So it's still 16 by 9 ratio, so that's widescreen. That's fine. Keeping it 960 by 4, 540 just makes it easy for me to, to run through things quicker without going on to super high res things. Okay. Usually the best thing to do is also keep it square pixels. For video, square pixels is better. So... Leave that alone for the most part. 30 frames a second is something that is relatively standard in certain parts of the world. 
Some people go for 29.97, 23.9, 24, depending on what you're looking for. 60 even these days is, is pretty common. So then your resolution, full, again, you can change this down if you want to, but that's also something you can change somewhere else as well. So generally, leave that alone. And your time code as well. Start is usually zero, unless you're doing something fancy. Duration, 10 seconds. So that'll be um, hours, uh, sorry, minute hours here, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds here. So currently it's set at 10 seconds, uh, which is fine for what we need. And a background color of the composition is basically just a, a guide background layer, if you like. Um, so again, we'll come to that when it comes to our render settings, that will mean something. So that will create a composition called Star Wars. If I click OK, there it is, Star Wars. And if we go to our composition settings, it will ping the whole window back up again of all the things we've just selected. And there it is. So now if we look over into our project window we will see this has appeared this is a composition which goes into our library just like these other assets do as well though they aren't stored on your hard drive they are stored within after effects themselves and will reference these things that are on your hard drive so it is part of your library assets um, also we want to keep this thing tidy so again we'll create another folder and we'll call this compositions and that is where we will store all the compositions. Should we have more than one, uh, or one is fine, just to keep it nice and neat. So we know our compositions are in there, images and videos. So knowing we have this composition already and set to go, we can break. We can now bring in all these assets into here. So uh, let's just grab tie, and we can either drag it straight on to our composition, um, which will place it in there. There we are pretty big I can drag this around because our original footage is much much larger Let's just delete that by pressing backspace or I can drag it straight down here to our timeline area and that will also do the same thing so if I just put it in here again it's put it into here and you can see it up in our composition window okay um, I'm just going to delete that again okay so what I'm going to do just for argument's sake is drag it straight into here and look at it, it's nice and huge. Just click and drag and you can move it around. So you'll notice down here, this is our magnification ratio, currently set at 100%, and that's 100% of the composition, not 100% of any of the footage sitting inside it. So what we can do to change that and see all of this video here is either we can go into here, click it and guess and say, say 50%, which is fine, we can see all of it, or we could say, fit up to 100%, which is which is really just doing the same thing with our composition. Um, so yeah, fits 100% of the composition into this area as best it can. Or if you have a mouse with a wheel, or some kind of scrolly nipply thing, you can roll that backwards and forwards, and that will zoom in and out as well. I tend to just do that, it's quicker. Uh, so just pull out a little bit. And these little handles here are your scaly handles. Um, that doesn't mean they have dragon wings or, or, or fiery breath there just for scaling so if you grab one you can move it around and scale it down if you hold down the shift button like I am now it will lock it to the correct ratio and you can scale that right up and down fit it straight into your scene however you want to do it okay so that's bringing in a movie into our composition that we set and the actual the, uh, the footage down here is represented on our timeline um, quite no, no, not quite nicely. So it's eight seconds long, just under eight seconds. And so if we go past it, we see nothing. We're back in, there we are. Okay, because we set our, pro our, our composition at 10 seconds, we've got, oh, I don't know, two and a half seconds extra um, we don't need. So quite common might want to do this we can right click on this area here this is our work area which we can drag around if we want to down in our timeline so if I move it back down to here and if you hold down shift again that will sort of jump it around and it will search for the nearest sort of bit to jump to and that will basically lock it to the end here also we can right click that and go trim to comp work area trim comp to work area apologies 
and that will change our composition to exactly the right length. So if I just check that by going into composition, composition settings, you can see here it's changed to 7 seconds and 22, which is exactly the TIE Fighter uh, footage. So this little button here, which is the interpret footage button, if I have this selected and interpret the footage, you should be able to see somewhere here we are, 7 seconds and 43. And the reason that's different is because this is set 59.94 frames a second, and this is set at 30. And those kind of discrepancies are just, just there. Don't worry about it for now. Frame rates is something a little bit more complicated, horribly complicated, in fact, that we get into a little bit later on in this course. Okay, so now, as we were, we've got our, our video in here, and we can drag this little blue bar across here, and it will sift through our, our video and we can put it to where we want just to see where it is or we can press the space bar space and that will cache this little green thing and then we've got some sound let's just get rid of that turn this area off here this is our sound uh, mute and sound unmute right over here so back here press space and that will play through our footage lovely exactly here and probably repeat there it is repeat 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 so there we are on the timeline in our comp nice and stored into our project files now we can add something else into this comp so in here i've got a star wars logo just select it a thumbnail will appear up here with a few bits and bobs of how big it is and stuff like that same thing we can either drag it straight onto our comp and you get a representation here of where it's going to sit um or drag it straight onto your timeline down here or you can drag it over here right into the actual time itself and if you just look above the timeline you can see this blue uh, sort of marker and that's telling me that if I let go here or here it's going to drop that at one second so there you go so you can see the Star Wars logo silver is here starting at one second okay there it is except you can't see it where is it well it's underneath yeah, so I can just drag this above there and there it is so nothing happens we play through Star Wars appears just there probably want to drag that back down so you can drag this thing here so you can click drag and then drag it right back to the start there we are okay so again we can scale this down using our scalies press shift scale down or just press shift scale down there we are put it wherever you like click and drag Let's put it down there because that looks cool. Okay, and again we can just play that through, and that because it's covering the whole length of the composition will stay there throughout the whole time. Um, and that's that's basically a very very basic run through of your project window, your timeline window, um, and it's which I've not kind of gone through any of these little things here. It doesn't matter right now. It's just a quick run through of the interface and what things do. So this is your composition window where everything is seen. This is your visual reference to everything and your final output. Over this side here is your, I say, effects area. And each one of these things is a toggle window. So you've got info and that will tell you various things, audio, effects and presets. Again, we'll get into that a bit later on. Very, very important align for aligning things we'll get in, we'll get into that as well so all these things here this is for your font paragraph motion brushes and things like that um, but we'll come to that so yeah so project composition timeline all right so that's basically the very 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 basic introduction to after effects uh, and its interface i'll catch you for part two very shortly <laughs>